She is our seventh finalist of the 25 crafters chosen to compete for the title of Home and Family DIY Star. She is from Solana Beach, California, and she is Deborah Beard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to be here. We're excited to be here, but you have a YouTube channel. Before you started, you had, uh, she really had stage fright. She was afraid to talk to people. How did you overcome that? I had extreme stage fright, but I also had a huge desire to share my DIYs. And so my brother dared me to go to an on-camera acting class, and we had to stand in front of the class and give a monologue about what we most wanted to say to the world. Wow. And my monologue was all about a recurring dream that I had where there was, I had something that I really wanted to say, but there was gum stuck in my mouth, and I kept pulling on the gum, and it got bigger. And so when it came time for me to stand up in front of the class, my knees were knocking, my hands were shaking, and I just told myself, forget it, just give up on this, just read yeah. it as fast as you can, yeah. and get the heck out of here. That's wow. And so that's what I did, and then the teacher wouldn't let me sit down. So I quickly shifted from flight mode to hurry up and figure this out. Uh -huh. And he encouraged me to, you know, he yeah. said, this is about frustration. Think of a time you were frustrated. Yeah. Every day was a frustration. I know, we yeah. do that here every day. Yeah. Yeah. I would that's what we do that, right? That's I would be do. frustrated if I had yeah. that much gum in my mouth, too. Yeah. So I can't. But that's what we do. They put the cameras in front of us, and we got to go. We, we do. Have to do it. We have to right. go. Right. No, we have to, we have to do it. Oh, we have to show yeah. you a clip. This is a clip yeah. of your video that you sent to us, not entirely, but about half of it. Take a look. We're going to take these coffee stir sticks and we're going to cut them up with a pair of scissors and we're going to turn them into a beautiful piece of jewelry. I'm going to strap the tape across the dresser. I'm going to mix the fancy farm girl with the queen bee. See all that stuff coming up? That's the part that we cut off. And we're going to wrap the wire in the cord and that's going to create this citrus green. You make sure that all of the paint gets spread around really good. I'm not really sure how to do it, so I think I'm just gonna wing it. There'll be this sweeping geometric pattern going on. There it is right back there. I'm relieved that it's not a hot mess. You are adorable on camera, so and you're funny. very funny. Thank you. Very funny. Although that's not funny to me. That's that glitter. <laughs> You've got to be excited you, about this. You knew about my glitter phobia, no? Or did you just? No, I had oh, no idea yeah, you had yeah. a glitter phobia. He, he okay. really does. But you glittered this whole chair, and it, it, it feels amazing. It looks like a fabric, but it, it does. does. And it glitter. does not crack. You can put a cowboy boot on this, and it won't crack. The glitter doesn't come off over time. How many chairs did you have to do before you before you came to the final product? Just one, and really? that one was an epic fail. It, I oh. I painted glue on the chair and I literally threw buckets of glitter all over the chair and it was a hot mess and I had glitter in my house for months. That's why I don't like it. You would have hated That's it. That's why I don't like it. I <laughs> have, just so you know, so has, not, I have, have glitter from year one. I have, yeah. I did and I bought glitter insurance. You did? <laughs> if there's a glitter okay. spill in my house, people come in, the hazmat outfit on, it's gone. What do we need to get started on this other than glitter? Yeah. Okay, you just need some simple ingredients. You want a good water-based paint. You want the paint to be close to the color of the glitter that you plan uh -huh. to use. You need glitter. You need a fine, small grit glitter and Mod Podge and some beautiful rhinestone chain and some jewelry glue. That's All right, oh, and we saw you getting busier earlier today, so let's take a look. Take us through this. Okay, so the first step is to spritz the upholstery with a spray bottle full of water. This will help the paint sink into the fabric like a dye. You don't want the paint to sit on the surface of the chair because that's where you get the crunchy, rough texture and the cracking. You also want to use a sanding sponge. The sanding sponge will just get that paint right down into the fibers and it helps smooth it out. Then I'm, I'm using that color Sandy Blonde. It is DIY paint. It's a clay-based paint, which is perfect for this application because it's nice and soft. And, and that is how... That just using, absorbs right yeah, in. Because a lot of paint sits right on top of it. So it's yes. paint and Mod and, Podge. Yes, and so now I'm mixing the Mod Podge with the glitter. It's a 50-50 ratio of oh, glitter to Mod Podge. You want to stir it really good so that there's no clumping or cracking. And then you just paint it right on the chair. It looks white when it goes on, but it dries clear. And how many coats would you do with that? Two coats, uh -huh. two and a half coats, and you're left with this beautiful glittery finish. And then finally, I am painting the frame of the chair with something called Golden Ticket, which will just give it a golden sheen and tie in with the glittery That's fabric. That's beautiful. 
Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Well, now look at this after. But there's a I little mean, bling that, going on there. Yeah. What, where did that come we from? We have some bling now. Oh, we yes. Have to, the last step to that. So this is the icing on the cake. It is rhinestone chain. You can cut it with a pair of pliers. And you just want to use a jewelry a jewelry glue. You don't want to touch it because it, yeah. it's yeah. got kind of a strong smell. So you yeah. just... It's very oh. famous for that. Yeah. yeah. So if you will help that's me, That's the E6000, Christina, right? Yeah. Right. And that's almost like elastic. You can manipulate that rhinestone. Now, why do you put it on with a stick rather than just, you know, using the needle, the nose from the glue? It will, it's just more control and it will, um, you don't want it to get on your cuticles. Did you say that dries pretty quickly? It dries yeah. very fast. It does, so you, and it is, it's just, once you put it on, it's really on there. And then it's, yeah. okay. Yeah, it, it doesn't come on. It's, it's very right. strong. It's very it's strong. Perfect. The Jewelers rhinestones go crazy. on. I'll give you that. I'll take that for you. Okay. Now, when you see a chair, you know, you see a chair like this, and you either think you're probably in a fairy tale land, right? Because mm -hmm. it's just so glittery. Who? <laughs> um, what? A chair like this would be made for what? Like a. Well, I think yourself. it would be perfect for you, but you could also use it for a special event or a little girl's room, or it's just a really funky piece to have. It's in your a house. thing, yeah, isn't like, it? Yeah. My designer Stephen always says you have to have a thing. That would be the this thing. Is the this thing. is the yeah. surprise yeah. element. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you mixed it with a bunch of really rustic pieces, and then mm. you have this. It, yeah. I don't it's, think just anybody can sit in a chair like that and, and make that happen. I think you have, by the way, how much was that all together? Would you um, it was between 40 and $50, depending on the chair. On the you, chair that yeah. you get? Because you take yeah, any you chair. Can find, this was an outdated chair, and it was, uh, you know, you can find something like this at a yard sale for $5. Now, you know, our Mark, every morning when he walks into the makeup room, he goes, all rise, because he thinks he's the Royal Steinus. I am your um, Royal Steinus. Yeah, so I'm glad we made you this chair. Would you care to sit in it, your Royal Steinus? <laughs> I don't know if I'm quite ready. Well, yes, maybe I can. Um, I, I think. Oh, did you really bring only... your own yes. stuff? Yes, I have my own Are stuff. Are you kidding here. me right now? Would you please hold on to this? Are you kidding me right? Now? Present, present the hat to me or the the, the Do crown. Do I have to? Oh my! Please, as Are I you sit. Are going to make me put this on your head? There we go, Christina. Watch. Could you please assist? Here, I crown you, Royal Dinas. Perfect. This is wonderful. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Is girl. it good? Am I good? Yes, you're good. No, I really want to. I really want to thank. All right, that's not stuck? funny. That E6000 is still wet. It's still. I can't. Now I can't. I see what you've done here, Deborah. <laughs>